Hey, what's up? Zombie Heads here. I'm going to show you how to add screenshots and sound effects from the internet into your Share Factory videos. So, sort of like that, if you want something like a SpongeBob screenshot and a sound effect of him screaming, this is how you do it. Uh, one thing, of course, remember you're going to uh, remember co things are copyrighted. Once you start adding things like that in your videos, like images and sound effects, watch out. Especially if it's a popular sound effect, because you very mel very may well end up with a, a third party warning or something in a YouTube video. But you know, lots of us do it, and uh, if you do want to know how to do it, this is what you do. You're going to need a, a microphone and a uh, you know your, your PlayStation 4 mic and a laptop or cell phone or something to play the sound effect to add a sound effect. All right, so uh, follow along if you'd like to continue and uh, I'll show you what to do. All right, so you need to know, uh, say I do know that this is where I wanna add my screenshot in between here and let's say I wanna use the good old SpongeBob time card the two hours later from the cartoon, right? So first thing you wanna know where you're gonna add it. So of course you're going to also need the screenshot. So Come on over here to your internet on your PlayStation 4 and search for it. Now, it might take a little while. Sometimes you might not even find exactly what you're looking for, and you might have to change your mind. But I like to use Bing. Uh, the difference between Google and Bing, uh, a lot of these, see these images, you click on them, it goes right to a web page, and it's just the page. But a lot of, of uh, results on Bing actually will, will bring up something like this, where you click on it and you get the exact picture. It doesn't go right to a web page. So... I found this one right here, two hours later. Okay, click on it, here we go, nice image. I'm gonna hit the square for full screen. If you click R3, I have to click it twice. All right, and uh, as you can see here, looks like right about, oh, let's get this, this our pointer off of there. Whoops, I'm using the, the, uh, the right joystick to center it. All right, right about there. On my capture card, you see a little bit of white on the right, but uh, on PlayStation 4, I, I'm not seeing it. So I'm going to hold in the share button. All right, and as you see, that confirms I took a screenshot. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna hit circle to get out of that. I'm going to go back to share factory. All right, now you need to make sure that the, the uh, this right here, you highlight the clip before where you want to place it. I'm going to hit the X. I'm coming over here to add a screenshot. Hit X, hit square. There we go. Two hours later. And it's about five seconds long, I think. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to add a transition and uh, pay attention because you're not going to have any sound behind your screenshot. Hear that? No sound. And I think that's bad for a video to just have no sound and go right back to sound. So that's why I suggest adding a uh, sound effect. But if you, you can't, for some reason, you can always add music or something uh, from the PlayStation 4 music selection. Something, I don't know. I think it's a little better not to have silence in your video. All right, so I like to add transitions, of course. I'm going to add one right now. Uh, I like to use these, these dissolves. I'm going to use this one right here that... And then I'm going to highlight this to add another transition at the end. All right, so it's playing like this. It's going to fade in. And uh, I'm going to actually shorten this a little bit because I don't want it to go for like five seconds. I'm going to um, edit this. I hit square, of course, to get the trim clip. I'm going to try and knock it down to about three seconds. I'm, hit, I'm flicking the... Ah, right. I flicked it perfect to be three seconds with the right joystick. And I like it there. I'm hit X. Okay, so uh, you want to add the sound. This is what you do. This is why I need to have a microphone. So I'm plugging it in. I already did this before, but I'll show you what you do. You, I'm just plugging this. This is my ordinary generic mic that came with PS4. I uh, plugged it into my controller. I went to my laptop. Let's just pretend we're on my laptop. I uh, found, just pretend this is on my laptop. Okay, I came here. I found... Uh, the two hours later video, right, on YouTube. I I set my microphone on top of my laptop speaker and I recorded the commentary and this is what I played. Two hours later. Two hours later, right? So basically what it looked like in Share Factory is, you st let's say you wanna start your commentary right about here. 
I always start actually a little bit before, okay? I'm gonna hit the uh, X. I'm coming here to add commentary with my microphone. This is when I'd have my mic plugged in, sitting on top of my laptop speakers, add commentary. I'm gonna hit X right now. It'll count down for me. Three, two, one, right? I'm totally quiet. The only thing I'm doing is I'm waiting until right now. I hit the button, it says two hours later. I give it a couple seconds at the end. I hit X to stop it. Okay, and this is going to be my uh, the sound effect I'm recording from the sound of my laptop. I hope you're following what I'm saying, uh, which I did right here. I already did it before I made this video, so I'm gonna um, let's delete this example one. This is the one that I actually already made. I'm going to just move it over right about here. Okay. And of course, listen to it, trim anything off. A lot of times you'll have an extra sound in the beginning of your commentary just because um, uh, Share Factory makes a little noise. Anyway, so trim it down so it sounds exactly how you like it and place it right where you want. Let's check it out. Two hours later. Perfect. Now, it did take me a couple times to tweak it, of course. Uh, before I trim that that commentary down, but this is what it's going to look like now. Uh, we've got two uh, cool things here: SpongeBob screaming, and of course. Uh, I hope I'm just inspiring you guys to do something a little more creative. You know, be awesome uploaders. Two hours later. You know, if you if you always sat around, and you thought, "Gee, I wish I could add the two hours later," or anything like that. You know, uh, that's how you do it. So I'm gonna play one more time. Two hours later. I'm actually so happy with that. So it worked out just how I wanted it to. Uh, I hope you guys have have things in mind that you can accomplish now after watching this little video. So uh, I'm gonna render this and upload it, and um, I'll have a little link in the description. So if you want to check out the final video, and hopefully you guys get out there and, and make some cool stuff on your own and stuff better than me. All right, everybody. I guess we'll catch you in the next video. Later on.